We have two orders to pack today, and in one of them I'm going to show you how to use toilet paper tubes when packing. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll get notifications on my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to pack and ship a butter dish with a lid. First, let's take a look at my sold listing on eBay. This is a vintage Hall, H-U-L-L, -L, butter dish with lid. It's the brown drip. This sold on eBay for full asking price of $24.97 plus $11.95 shipping. So let me show you how I packed and shipped this fragile item to make sure that it arrives safely. But first of all, let's go find it on the shelf. I do want to mention there are a couple of flaws on this uh, butter dish. The bottom of it has a couple of small chips that I'm showing you here wrap the bottom of the butter dish in a piece of tissue paper and just using regular household tape. I always like to fill the void, you know, the open area of anything that I'm shipping to help protect it. So I'm just taking some tissue paper and filling up the lid of the butter dish. And just to keep the finish nice, I wrap the top of the butter dish in some tissue paper and I just pick my tissue paper up at the local Dollar Tree. You can also buy it in a room, which I think is 400 sheets, but I just pick it up at the Dollar Tree. Next comes the bubble wrap, and I like to use large half-inch bubble wrap. I think that works best. And although you can put the bottom of the butter dish on the bubble wrap in any direction, I often like to put it on the diagonal. It's, I don't know, it's just my way. I do use heavy-duty packing tape for this part. And I always like to feel around each edge of the item that I'm packing and shipping to make sure that I can't feel any of the hard surface of the item. If I can, I need to add more bubble wrap and that's what happened in this case. One more sheet of bubble wrap should do it. That's pretty good. Let's finish the top of the butter dish. Well, I decided on the top part of the butter dish to use two pieces of bubble wrap and just roll it on up. Tape the end securely. Now, what size box do I need? Let's take a ruler and measure this. A 10 by 8 by 6 box is going to work well for this. These are some of the free eBay boxes. Well, I don't know if they're necessarily free. I do pay a store fee, but uh, I like to order in a variety of sizes of boxes to have on hand uh, when it comes to the eBay boxes. I like to fold and tape the bottom of the box first and then flip it back over to put the items inside. Now here's a tip that actually helps fill in that extra space. I took two sheets of large bubble wrap and put it one direction and two sheets of bubble wrap and put it the other direction. So I've got now two layers on the bottom and I've got layers on the sides that I can wrap up around the item and then we'll see how much more bubble wrap we need. I just stack the two pieces and sliding them down in the box. Oh, and I don't want to forget my thank you note. These are just 30 up labels, just regular mailing labels that I print out for my thank you note. I folded these short ends in and then the longer sides I just rolled down. I have just a little bit of room at the top so I'm adding one more layer of large bubble wrap on the diagonal and just tucking it in where it needs to be. It's good to go, let's tape it up. I like to cross tape by putting a piece of tape in both directions. And I also put a little piece of tape on the side seam of the box. And here's a tip for you if you're doing a lot of packages on the same day and you don't want to get the labels mixed up, I just take a fine point marker and I just write on the bottom corner of the box the first and last initial of the buyer with a little dash and the state initials of where it's going to. It's very rare that I would have a duplicate of the same buyer's initials and the same state on the same day. It has happened maybe once or twice over the last decade or so but very rare but this is a good tip to make sure you don't um, get the wrong label on the wrong package 
you sure don't want that to happen. We have one more butter dish to pack and I'm going to show you how to use those toilet paper rolls. Let's go get it off the shelf and then I'll show you my sale on eBay. Keep watching. Let's take a look at my sold listing on eBay. I found this cow butter dish at the mega moving sale video if you saw that one it's by food network a cow a bull while well, cows can have horns so it can be either anyway i accepted an offer on it for twenty dollars i know i have to protect those horns for shipping and i'll show you how i did it the first thing i did is cut a strip of tissue paper so that i could wrap it around the horns of the cow I often do this to protect um, extended areas on something that's fragile. And I'm just using regular household tape. Let's wrap the bottom of the butter dish, just rolling it in the tissue paper, taping the ends. And I use Scotch heavy duty packing tape when I'm taping bubble wrap or taping my boxes. I decided to put this in small bubble wrap first before I go to the large. Let's wrap that little cow one more time and I'm tucking the tissue paper into that void or that hollow area. I always like to fill any hollow areas. I added some more tissue paper inside. I thought it needed more. Let's wrap it in some small bubble wrap, taping both ends. And I always like to feel around to see if I find anything that's exposed. I'm being careful about those horns. And then I decided to tape the top of the butter dish to the bottom. Keep it in one piece when they take it out of the package. Next is large bubble wrap. I'm using half inch large bubble wrap. Just wrapping it around a few times and using my heavy duty packing tape. Taping the ends securely. Again, checking to see if I feel any hard edges that need extra protection. I think it's okay. Using a ruler, I take the measurements and I'm going to be using a 12 by six by six eBay box. And I always cross tape the bottom of the box first, flip it over and do a test fit with my item. I wanna see how much room is left over. Here I go again using my two sheets of bubble wrap laid opposite directions. It gives extra padding in the bottom and helps fill in the areas around my butter dish. And of course I'm adding my thank you label, which I ran 30 up. This is in place of adding any note. I slip it in, it looks pretty good, but there's still some room on the side. I still find that I have some excess room that I want to fill in. So let me show you how I use those toilet paper rolls. Please do make sure that all the toilet paper has been removed. You don't want to leave any on it. These are great little fillers. You can just slightly bend it, make it oval shaped. I'm tucking one on the side and I'm putting one on the, another side. And then I just again make it slightly oval and put one on each end. A great use of these tubes. They're just cardboard tubes. I've been using these for years. So let's see. I still have a little bit of room on top and I really don't want to keep using up my bubble wrap. So I have a a paper tube, a cardboard tube from a roll of paper towels. And that's what I'm going to be using here. Again, I try to make sure all the paper is off. I'm going to try this on the diagonal, just enough to fill in the space and keep my butter dish from moving around. And yes, I think on the diagonal is going to work good. I do want to check the weight on this to make sure I'm within my estimate that I gave to the buyer. Everything looks good. You can save on weight by using these cardboard tubes because they're hollow. They do the job, <laughs> no pun intended, and they help fill in the space while protecting the item from shifting around. So there you go. That's the pack and ship on how to pack and ship a butter dish with lid. I have many other pack and ship videos on my channel, Avante Avenue. Be sure to check that out. I have a playlist for it. I'll put a link at the end of this video. And I have many more pack and ship videos coming out. I did about, I think, eight or so maybe in one day. 
and instead of putting them all together in one long video I decided to break them down into short videos like this so if you have an opportunity to mail something similar in shape you can just go to my playlist and find the one that best fits what you're packing and shipping for that day. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Appreciate a thumbs up. Hope you uh, subscribe and ring that bell to receive notifications on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon.